Hey folks, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be discussing how to laser engrave these hip flasks and it, generally speaking it works the same for any metal but we're going to start with the black one and then we're going to do the stainless steel. Uh, I use Mark Solid laser marking liquid paste. So it's 015 and it's black metal and I just get it from HPC Laser. And then I just use the foam brush there that you see on the screen to apply it. So when you're applying it then you just want to make sure it's an even coat and you don't leave any streaks so that you can see the bare metal. You want it to be completely covered. Also try and keep all the strokes in the same direction. So we'll get started on the matte black one here and you can see me just framing it out so I know exactly where it's going to go and then crack on with the engraving. It's kind of hard to see the engraving because it does need a wipe and the lighting um, isn't great for picking it up but you'll see once it's finished it looks banging. Now that that's the engraving done, you can really start to see the change uh, with the change of light there on the engraving. It's, it looks amazing. Um, you can see that silver behind, but with a quick wipe, um, with a dry rag, it looks even better. You can really see that stainless steel pop through. So now that that's done then, we'll just move on to the stainless steel one. You can see I've applied that Mark Solid coating to the top and we're just going to go straight in with the laser on. Unfortunately, on this one, I did make a mistake. I had the focus wrong. Basically, because the hip flask's a curved shape, it's struggling with the edges on this one. And you'll see, once it's finished, what I mean exactly. So you can see here that there's a little bit of white on the outside edge there. That's basically because the focus was out. So I've been given the paste a clean off, you can see where it's not engraved properly. So because it was out of focus, it's not allowed the laser paste to make that chemical reaction and etch the pattern onto the hip flask. So to combat that, what I've done is I've raised the bed an extra 2mm so it's slightly out of focus and then we'll go on with a fresh batch and here you can see me just applying that paste like I was telling you before. It doesn't need to be in a particular direction as long as it's all in the same direction. So once all of them have got the paste on, we just let that dry for a while until it's like a light grey sort of colour, and then we can crack on. Some time later. So now I'm just going to do a quick speed run through these three hip flasks to show you the outcome. Instead of making this a 20 odd minute video, we'll just cut to near the end of the project so you can see the finished article. Now that the engraving's done then, we'll have a closer look at the finished article and you can really see the difference here. Well you can see by raising that bed 2mm, it's really perfected the engraving there and brought out all the details perfectly. The awesome thing about the paste is you can see just how easy it comes off. I'm not using any cleaning chemicals or anything like that, just some warm water in my hand just to remove all the, the paste from the job. And now you can see the real difference. I'm really happy with how this turned out and you can see it in its final dry fit of the box that it comes in. I've not glued any of this together so you'll see in a minute that the front side there pops off but it's all good. So I engrave the bottom and the top of the box just with whatever the client wants on it and this is what we came up with. It's a really nice presentation box and a nice gift for somebody should they want it. 
So next time you hear someone saying you can't engrave metal with a CO2 laser, well, show them this video because this is in technically an engraving. I hope you found some tips and tricks in this video and if you liked it, please do give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel where I'll bring you more video content as well. I've also got a link below for buying these Mira 9S machines if you'd be interested, so please do check that out. Thanks, bye.